Benjamin Franklin said it best, eat to live and not live to eat. In this video, we're calling it eat to live, don't live to eat. And we're going to explain why are your choices. It's really about choices. It's really about choices and it's all in our hands, in your hands. Take the time to evaluate your diet and eating habits. Make the necessary changes before it's too late as prevention is worth a thousand cures. Make small changes every week instead of drastic shifts where you feel the biggest impact. Make a list of all the foods you need to cut down on in your diet and keep cutting one eat out each week. I'm going to give you an example. I cut out one slice of cheese in my omelet every day and I realized that that one slice of cheese is 100 calories. In 30 days, that's 3,000 calories I did not consume. Hard to believe. Such a simple little thing like that. And you know that it takes about 1,000 to 3,000 calories to create one pound of fat. So be mindful of your eating habits and commit to change at least one each week. Ask for help and support from family and friends. Educate yourself on what are healthy foods and the food groups. We offer some really good programs, uh, the Kenogenic Diet Program, Mindful Eating Diet, the Joan Bar Diet, Saturday Morning Diet, all available to you on our website, joanbar.com and saturdaythemorningdiet.com. Make friends with healthy eaters. They can be your best support and role models for changing bad habits. And it does come down to habits. Keep a list of all the changes you need to make and look it over every day to keep this information at the forefront of your mind. Use positive affirmations to all, uh, install a healthier thought process towards food and eating as thoughts and beliefs guide our behavior. Keep with it, and before you know it, new healthy choices and patterns will become habits, just as the old unhealthy ones once were. Now, if it is to be, it is up to me. That should be your mantra. I have a wall of positive affirmations that I look at every morning while I do my 30 minutes of treadmilling seven days a week. It's a habit. I have to do it. It makes me feel great, gets the blood going, and keeps my brain sharp. What you do today can improve all your tomorrows. And that's how I feel on my treadmill. I'm on a treadmill, a time machine, keeping myself young to the future. The role of food. Food is intended for the human body as substance and nutrition. Truly, that is the, oh, its only intent. It's meant to provide essential elements that work to support internal bodily process and neutrify major organs. It provides us with energy and is essential for the proper physical development of children. Somewhere along the line, we have seriously lost touch with this fact. Of course, the endless rows of goodies at the supermarket and unlimited choices of junk food have not helped us in any way. Healthy eating still eludes many of us as America struggles with obesity and lifestyle choices are the leading cause of premature death from diseases like that of the heart that result from them. Now, look at this picture. You could eat healthy food. A, a good friend of mine once told me, it doesn't matter what you eat as long as you fill your belly. So fill your belly with positive, good food. Keep away from the carbs, the bread, the sugar, the cake, the, the pasta, the, the pizza. All that stuff turns to sugar once it gets inside your body. Obesity. Obesity is at academic, epidemic levels in the U.S. according to the Centers for Disease Control. One, 35.1% of adults aged 20 or older were obese in 2020. Two, 69% of adults aged 20 or older were overweight or obese in 2012. And that's more than 50% of the U.S. population. And most of us that are on this uh, channel are in that proposition. Children as young as five years old are being diagnosed with obesity, which may be the biggest tragedy of all, according to the Center 
for disease control. Three, obesity rates have more than doubled in children and quadrupled in adolescents in the last 30 years. Four, in 2012, more than one-third of children and adolescents were overweight or obese. Of course, poor eating habits put you at risk for more than just obesity because when the body does not have proper nutrition, it poses other serious health risks. Now, ironically, that picture is exactly where my waist was at the beginning of last year, 54 inches. I got it down to a 42. And how did I do it? I cut out carbs. And I offer you the opportunity to get our uh, Kenogenic Diet ebook at a very low price and also the Joan Bars Diet on the Saturday Morning Diet. We offer you a lot of programs to help you lose the weight. Obesity is killing the world. And how is this happening? The food industry is putting so much sugar, cheap food out in the world that we are, we, everywhere we turn, there's sugar. You know, ABC rules to obesity prevention, simple rules to stay in shape. Adopt new healthy habits, good habits, bike to work, balanced diet, swim. I recommend walking. My dad is 94, walks every day. You know, bike versus driving to work, balanced diet versus fast food. Swim versus watching TV. You know, we just put out a video the other day how a uh, sedentary lifestyle, sitting around for 10 or more hours a day, reduces, uh, not only increases obesity, increases the chance of uh, stroke, but it also uh, changes your DNA. Balance your caloric intake. Food beverages in, physical activities, calories out. Now, what this is saying is try to burn up as much as you take in. But if you take in less carbs, there's less calories to burn. And also, carbs turn to sugar, which turns to fat. Control your weight gain. That's the secret. Obesity kills seven common diseases due to obesity. Arthritis, cancer, infertility, heart disease, back pain, diabetes, stroke, and you just feel bad, depressed. How do I know whether I'm overweight? Calculate your body mass index using this formula. Body mass index is height divided into weight. Overweight, 18.5. Norm, underweight is 18.5. Normal is 18.5 to 24.9. Overweight is 25 to 29.9. Obesity is 30, over 30. Severe obesity is over 35. Now, I believe I was in the 30%. It turned out I was in the severe obese. You know, a lot of us don't think we're fat. You know, we think we're all right. You know, we still think we're in our uh, teens. But that's not the case. The food industry is making it impossible very hard for us to keep the weight off. What's so important about keeping the weight? Hypertension and strokes. Hypertension, the National Institute of Health advises that hypertension, or what is known as high blood pressure, can result from poor nutrition. Hypertension is often diagnosed until it damages the body, is undiagnosed until it damages the body beyond repair. Too much salt, sugar, and fatty processed food can cause hypertension. Strokes. Experts advise that foods high in salt, cholesterol, and fat increase chances for stroke. Strokes occur when plaque builds up in the blood vessel and then breaks free when a clog travels to the brain and creates a blockage. Stroke can result in paralysis and death. Look at this diagram. Main complications of uh, persistent high blood pressure. The brain. The blood, elevated sugar levels, retina of the eye, the heart, cardio, myocardial infraction, the kidneys. Your whole body is affected by hypertension and the obesity. Now, I'm going to show you some startling stuff. You must know the difference between heart attack, cardiac arrest, and stroke. 
A heart attack is a circulation disorder. The symptoms are chest pain, what's called angina, body aches, shortness of breath, and cold sweats. If you have any of those four, those are symptoms of heart trouble. Cardiac arrest, loss of consciousness, blackout, chest pain, extreme palpitation. You know, cardiac arrest is an electro, electro, electrical disorder. Stroke, a stroke is a brain disorder. Mental confusion, disruptive speech, inability to walk, or blurred vision. So they're not all in the same. They're three different things. And all of it could be ev avoided by exercising every day, keeping your weight down, cutting out the salt and the sugars in your system, and getting control of your cholesterol and other things, and adding a better nutrition diet to your lifestyle. High cholesterol, poor nutrition leads to high cholesterol, which is the main cause of heart disease, the number one killer of Americans. More than 500 people die each year in the U.S. from heart disease, typically caused by a high-fat diet. Some of the cultured foods are excessive, excesses of beef, sweets, ice cream, and processed high-fat food. Now, the magic word there was process. If you intake lean meats, uh, non-processed beef, non-processed uh, foods, you're going to avoid this uh, cholesterol problem. Gout, something you thought would disappear, but it's still around. Gout is conditioned where uric acid builds up and creates crystals in the joints. It is painful and leads to permanent joint damage. Pure nutrition, poor nutrition is a contributing factor to gout. Foods high uric acid include whole milk, cheese, ice cream, and some seafood. Cancer. Experts like those at the National Institute of Health advise that poor nutrition is a high risk factor for breast, colon, and bladder cancers, just to name a few. A diet that is high in refined sugar Hydrogenated oils, nitrates in hot dogs and bacon, and fatty foods like french fries put you at risk for cancer. Conversely, it is fruits and vegetables that are high in antioxidants that help protect cells in the body decrease risk for cancer. A diet rich in antioxidants is key to maintaining proper health and preventing a wide range of diseases. As you can see in this picture, avocado, cheese, Ginger, uh, fruits, vegetables are great things to keep your cholesterol down. Fish especially. You know, we recommend taking a fish oil supplement twice a day, one in the morning and one at night. What you should change. Slow down eating your meal. Your hormonal signal to turn off eating takes 20 minutes. And I'm sure you've heard that a million times. But yet, you gobble your food down. Don't eat processed foods that are high in preservatives, salt, and calories. Now, what is processed food? All that food that comes in a can and a box, that's processed food. That's simple enough, isn't it? And a can or a box is processed food. Walk only the outside aisles of the supermarket. Shop in the produce section and avoid processed foods in cans or that need refrigeration. Another key indicator of processed food. Your life does not get better by chance. It gets better by change. It's easy and up to you. You know, we, we build this big wall in our brain that you can never lose the weight. Hundreds of thousands of people are losing weight every day and keeping it off. Because it, you, it's up to you and it's easy if you make up your mind to do it. Make small changes every week instead of drastic changes where you feel the biggest impact. Make a list of all the foods you need to cut down on in your diet and keep cutting one each week. Be mindful of your eating habits and commit to change at least one each week. Ask for help and support from family and friends. Educate yourself about what are healthy foods and the healthy food groups. Make friends with healthy eaters that can be your support and role models for changing bad habits. Keep a list of all the changes you need to make and look it over every day to take this information at the forefront of your mind. 
Use positive affirmations to instill a healthier thought process towards food and eating as thoughts and better guide our behavior. Keep it with you and before you know it, new healthy choices and patterns will become habits just as the old unhealthy ones once were. Fall in love with taking care of yourself, mind, body, spirit. You know, it all comes to your head. It all comes to making a decision. Uh, I reposted this, uh, this slide a second time because you have to get this into your head. Be mindful of your eating habits and commit to change at least one each week. Don't try to uh, do it all in a day. You didn't get obese in a day, and you're not going to lose the weight in a day. It might take you a year. It might take you two years. But as long as you're on the journey to the future, to die young at a very old age. Wonderful weight loss e-course packages at SaturdayDiet.com. Uh, we offer a bronze, a silver, and a gold package, and each one offers you more than the previous one at budgets that everyone can afford for immediate download. We've been offering two great packages, uh, the, mindful, the Power of Mindfulness for Weight Loss and the Canogenic Diet. Discover the low-carb difference. And I tell you, it works because carbohydrates are the ones that are making you fat. Please subscribe. Take advantage of these great products we're offering. We went through a lot of work to get them for you. Please share, subscribe, and spread the word about Joan Barnes and the Saturday Morning Diet. See you on the next video. Bye-bye. Good luck.